Hi, I'm Aid, and today I'm going to show you how to save images to cassette tapes. If you've been watching my channel, you've noticed that I've been making some experiments with cassette tapes. And as I was doing those experiments, because I'm often mixing glitchy video synth with cassette sound, I wondered if there was a way that I could combine the two and actually save the images onto the cassette tapes that I was using. And so I started doing some research to see if that's something that people did. And sure enough, there's something called Slow Scan TV, SSTV. It was used to broadcast images across radio. So using sound, it actually transferred the information from the image. I wanted to take the looping animations that I've been creating, break them down into individual images, transfer each image to tape, and then rebuild them using the glitchy artifacts that come from the tape transfer process and stitch them all back together into a glitchy animation. So I'm going to show you how I use the iPad that converts images to sound, record it to tape, and then transfer it back from audio back into an image. I'm using an old Sony tape recorder, but any tape recorder should work. I'm plugging into the RCA input, but plugging into a mic input would do the same thing. At the other end of the audio cable is an iPad USB headphone adapter. If you want to try this with an iPhone, you would just use a lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter. Or if your device has a regular headphone jack, you won't need to use an adapter at all. Once I plug the adapter into my iPad, I can send sound from the iPad to the tape recorder to be recorded. The application I use is called SSTV Slow Scan TV. It's $3.99 and works on iPhones, iPads, and Macs. First, I select an image from my photo library Then I hit transmit image and the app will begin to play the audio for the converted image. There are many variations of the SSTV format. The one I'm using is called Robot 36C. Different formats have different characteristics. Robot 36C transfers a color image at 320 pixels by 240 pixels in 36 seconds. This may sound like a long time for a tiny image, but other formats take even longer. After recording the sound, it can be played back, and now I can use the same app to decode the sound back into an image. That looks like this. I'm doing this on tape because I want to see the audio imperfections as glitches in my image. If you were to do this digitally, the SSTV image being sent and received would be identical. As you can see, the incoming image is garbled and glitchy. In fact, it doesn't look like an image at all. This is partly the nature of the format, but it also has to do with the imperfect playback speed of my old tape player. Using the phase and skew controls, I'm able to hone in on the image. To make an animation, I need to repeat this process 14 times, once for each frame of the video. And finally, I can stitch all the images back together. Here's the results. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.